I now invite the meeting was attended by shareholders, business executives, and private individuals. The investment company's board directors were present, facilitating the meeting and addressing queries by shareholders. Serabi said the company was able to generate an investment gain of 6.18 million kina for the year ending 31st December 2012, representing a return of 14.85 percent. This equates to earnings of uh, uh, 0 0.10 10 toya per share. The chairman said the company faced challenges both globally and domestically in 2012, but was able to maneuver through successfully. Domestically, as you all know, we had a, a national election in 2012, uh, which uh, presented uh, its own unique challenges. Shareholders were assured that Kina Asset Management Limited would provide monthly performance updates by publishing a net asset value and a complete listing of their investments. Kina Asset Management Chief Executive Officer and Director Sid Yates said though it is difficult for an investment company to predict its performance for the future, the company has done well for the first quarter of this year. Look, we had a very good result for the first three months of the year. I think it was about 7.4%. That was based in line with the current markets, the stock markets throughout the world. Kina Asset Management shareholders became some of the first in PNG to lodge their proxy votes for the investment company's annual general meeting via smartphone. It is the first Papua New Guinea listed company to offer this service outside Australia. Over 20 million votes were lodged online this year, with over 7 million lodged via smartphone. Dennis Orere, National MTV News.